It's true though. I see. I, I understand why my parents like have have such high standards for me. Like I get it, right? Because when my parents were in their late teens and twenties, they were busy organizing protests. You know, watching their friends get locked up and you know, like people die in front of them, right? All while doing their housework and uh, homework. You know, like do you know what I mean, like well. And, it, and it's, it's crazy because they see in the luxuries I grew up with and they're just thinking I should be a brain surgeon. You know, like you've got a PlayStation <laughs> and an iPhone. Why the fuck aren't you rich yet? Like, you know I mean, that's... Because they come from a different generation. You know, they were a generation that got shit done, you know, that weren't afraid to bring about change, real change, a generation of real activists. Not, not like these modern day activists that sit at home on Twitter in their boxer shorts in bed, right? Just there like, on their phone like, yeah, hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> hashtag Trump ban. Hashtag man's an activist. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I think you need to be physically active to be an activist. Do you know what I mean? The clue is in the name, right? I think a lot of modern day activism isn't, isn't useful, right? I think a lot of it is just people satisfying their own conscience. Do you know what I mean? Like, like and call me, call me cynical, but I think if the person you're protesting against is happy with your means of protest, then that's not really a protest, is it? It's just a fucking shit day out. <laughs> you know, I get it, people want to do something, but you're not really achieving anything. It's like, it's like jogging on the spot. You're getting tired, but you're not moving forward. Like... <laughs> nah, man. I, like, I, I don't know if any of you kept up to date with some of these protests over the last few years. You know, the Trump protests or the Brexit ones or whatever. Like, they were causes I believed in, but they were single-handedly some of the biggest exercises of smug activism I've ever fucking seen in my life, bruv, right? Those weren't protests. Those were just basically big power-walking clubs with placards, right? I'm surprised the whole thing wasn't sponsored by Weight Watchers and we didn't get slipping world points for it, right? Because, you know, there's meant to be an air of unpredictability surrounding a protest. You know, people are meant to be scared. Not a synchronized walk on a Saturday lunchtime, bruv. I couldn't believe what I was seeing people crying, going, Oh my God, look, it's wonderful, isn't it? Humanity is shining. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe people were trying to fit it into their schedules. You know, they were going to the gym, grabbing a coffee, taking their kids out like it was an arts and crafts festival, you know? <laughs> Just, just out, it was crazy to me. You know, they were taking pictures, you know, going to dinner afterwards, putting it on social media, like hashtag protest, hashtag, oh my God, have you tried the avocado? It is amazing. <laughs> I get it though, like, you know, like you, you wanted to do something in it, but I don't think any peaceful protests have changed the world since like TVs were black and white. You know what I mean? Like, right? And, but that's the thing, like a lot of you are probably looking at me going, all right, Kate, like you're full of fucking wisdom up there telling us what we can and can't do. What would you do? Listen, if I was to organize protests, I'd do it at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning. Right? Yeah. 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, it will show me who really believes in the cause, right? <laughs> I'm serious, it will whittle away all the casual believers, right? Because 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, people don't want to wake up for a job that they're paid to do. <laughs> at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, right? You know, I'm talking 8 a.m. on a Monday morning where you're sat like, at the side of your bed just looking into space like, oh my God. <sighs> How many sick days do I have left? Oh, fuck this, man. Why am I even alive? <laughs> that kind of Monday morning, right? Because it will show me who's really into the cause, right? Because at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, do you know how much you have to believe in that cause? Like, all right, guys, like, let me put it this way, right? I believe in breakfast. <laughs> but I would give that up for a lion every single day, right? There's, there's no question about it, okay? Now, nah, 8 a.m. on a Monday morning will be great, right? Like, you know, like, we'll, we'll, we'll watch into central London, you know, there'll be none of those idiots in pink hats and matching T-shirts, right? <laughs> you know, they, and you see what celebrities were really on your side and who was doing it for good PR. Like, nobody wants to hear Madonna sing like a virgin at 8 a.m. Fuck off, Madonna. Like, just, <laughs> it'll be great, right? Like, but, you know, we'll bring the country to a standstill. Kids can't get into school, people can't get into work, but finally, people at the top will be listening. The only problem is police might get pissed off with me, but I've got a plan for that. I've seen the advert. I'll bring Kendall Jenner along with me. <laughs> Start handing out cans of Pepsi, innit? Like, hashtag Pepsi, hashtag man's an activist. <laughs> I don't even think protests are the worst thing about activism, right? Like, I think, I think that in recent years, for some reason, people think like online petitions are the way forward, right? 
and I don't understand why, because if I see another online petition, I'm gonna fucking lose it, right? It's... No, because like, it's, it's an, I don't know what people think is gonna happen. Like, if like, do, do they think politicians are like vampires? Like, if they see like fifty thousand signatures, they melt in sunlight or some shit, like. <laughs> Because, like, like, you know, we've seen, we seen online petitions everywhere. Like, you know, we saw the one for the child refugees and stuff, and none of them amounted to anything. I just think to myself, what do you think is happening? Like, do you think somebody's walking into the Prime Minister's office like, Prime Minister. <laughs> There's been some news. <laughs> well, what is it, Edward? Spit it out. <laughs> Prime Minister. There's been signatures. <laughs> Many of them, Edward. About a hundred thousand or so. Well, what are we going to do? I've got an idea. It sounds a little far-fetched, Prime Minister, but please, roll with me. Okay, okay, what is it? We turn off the computers. If we can't see them, they don't exist. Oh, what a great idea, Edward. Yes, <laughs> let's get back to cutting some benefits. 